Have you ever thought about someone that is really good at math and wondered why that is? What if they had a mental illness? There's an old saying that goes, there's a fine line between genius and insanity. Many such as Einstein, Newton, and Plato are famous for their contributions to the math and science communities. They are thought of as geniuses, but have also been known to have mental illnesses. This leads us to a question. Is there a connection between mental illness and mathematical talent? There's a wide variety of mental illnesses, but some of the more common ones that people are familiar with are bipolar disorder, autism, schizophrenia, and Asperger's syndrome. Schizophrenia, for example, causes a lack of social skills and a fear that others will harm you. In some cases, this may cause people to experience a downfall or even death. Autism is known to cause speech impediments and deficiencies while learning simple things. Bipolar disorder, or manic depression, causes rapid mood swings and fits of great anger. Many have problems socializing with others as well. OCD, or obsessive compulsive disorder, is a mental and physical twitch that can be shown in many ways, whether it is the cleanliness of something or the order that it is in. These illnesses affect the front section of the brain, the communication and social part of it more specifically. There are symptoms that are more challenging to overcome, such as dilated pupils or twitches, things like that can, that can be subtle, but there are quite a few treatments for issues like these, like such as medications or therapy, and depending on the severity of the symptoms, the treatment is different. Most of the illnesses that we see are ones that can be inherited. Many illnesses and disorders can be passed down from parent to child, and some can skip generations. Others, however, require both parents to have the gene in their DNA for it to be passed down to their child. As mentioned earlier, many great minds in our history have been affected by both genius and illness. Isaac Newton, for example, was the first to do extensive research and to publish work on gravity, had bipolar tendencies, which may have been due to his hazardous research as well as his ADHD. Another example is Ludwig Boltzmann who is a great mind who contributed much in the scientific community, especially in the regard to temperatures. He also suffered from the symptoms of bipolar disorder. The great Greek theologian and statesman Plato opened the first university in Athens and is one of the earliest recorded examples of having worked with the mentally ill, aiding them and helping them learn more. John Nash was a great decoder and mathematician who lived with paranoid schizophrenia until his work pushed him to a breaking point. He was later on awarded a Nobel Prize for his astounding work in his field. Greg Cantor, who was famous with his work with the larger infinities, was placed in a mental facility after he was diagnosed with bipolar disorder. He stayed locked in the facility until he died in 1918. Paul Erdos was an eccentric man that made little sense to others, and he was known as the mathematician who wandered around and took pills. Though his work on graph theory pushed the subject to a new place, he was viewed in the community as an outcast. He died in 1996. Kurt Gödel created and published many very complicated papers and theorems. One of the greatest was the incompleteness theorem. Gödel was a paranoid schizophrenic. The great Albert Einstein was thought to have had Asperger's syndrome. He is still revered as one of the greatest minds in history because he made the intriguing point that a large amount of energy could be released from a small part of matter. He died in 1955. So you may be asking yourself, what are the odds that you or someone you know may have any of these illnesses? Well, for schizophrenia, that affects 10 million people out of a population of 315 million. That means it affects two of every 63 Americans. OCD is seen in 3.5 million people out of 315 million. That would be one out of every 90 people in America. Autism affects 23 million of the 7 billion people in the world. That is about 23 of every 7,000 people worldwide. Bipolar disorder affects 170 million people out of the 7 billion that live in the worldwide population. So it affects about 17 out of every 107 people worldwide. So what are the odds of having mental illness and a math talent? In reality, the chances are very low, but it is seen often. Though there are strong signs that seem to point to a connection, it has never been proven. And though it has never been disproven either, so the question remains, is there a link between mental illness and math talent?